take a closer look at this for our Monday here. As said, the clearing sky, but check out these wind gusts. Our future pass model showing those wind gusts area wide 20 to 30 plus for a good portion of our Monday. One of the other issues, that wildfire in the Shenandoah National Park, I think finally some beneficial rain, at least for the firefighters coming uh, to help battle that blaze as we get into our Friday. It looks like Futurecast right now showing that rain coming in as early as, say, late morning Friday, and then especially as we go into the afternoon. Some impressive video to show you here from the Waynesboro Fire Department, and uh, we want to thank Derek Price for taking this photo and posting it on Facebook. The fire department had to come out there and get their sign because it got blown out in the road. Those gusty winds, heavy downpours, and frequent cloud to ground lightning with those strong storms that moved through earlier. I think by Thursday right now, rainfall totals a half inch maybe as high as an inch, so nothing that substantial. But if we get a thunderstorm, obviously there could be some locally higher amounts. Look at Wednesday morning, a low temperature of 34 degrees, so it could be cold enough here. There could be some areas of frost, especially across the Shenandoah Valley and the mountains, but things do warm up nicely in the afternoon, middle 60s, a lot of sunshine there. Our forecast headlines first off tracking a few shower chances for our Monday. I don't think it's anything too terribly heavy, but as said, already starting to see a bit of that temperature variance across the region. Forecasted highs for the valley on Monday in the upper 60s generally and northern reaches of the viewing area as well, kind of on the cooler side, but you get down to Seaville and points south and east in the Piedmont. That's where we're a bit warmer, low and middle 70s, just a 30% chance for that shower if we do see it not really expected to amount to a whole lot, but it will be mostly cloudy. The weather pattern looking to stay fairly unsettled for much of the upcoming week here, basically from Tuesday right through Thursday, tracking scattered showers, possibly a thunderstorm. We have this warm front that will be positioned just to our north, a slow moving cold front out to our west and disturbances kind of riding along this warm frontal boundary. The air mass getting a little bit more humid and you have some more instability in the atmosphere. You so you can see how things just become a bit more unsettled there with those on and off showers or storm chances over the next several days. Once we get rid of all this by next weekend, say next Sunday, there are some indications we could have some unseasonably cool air with a big dip in the jet stream trying to push down in here. Maybe next Sunday talking high temperatures not getting out of the 60s and that would be with a fair amount of sunshine.